Welcome back to Jagunis Bites. For today, I've got something prepared that you can make in advance. These cute double chocolate muffins are better the day after you make them. They're moist, spongy, and wonderful for anyone that loves chocolate. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any further videos. First, let's sift 250 grams of flour into a bowl. To it, add 2 teaspoons of baking powder, 200 grams powdered sugar, which you can also sift to get rid of all the lumps, add in 75 grams of cocoa powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. At the end, mix everything well together. As I was mixing the dry ingredients, I noticed that I've taken too small of a bowl and just quickly transferred them to a larger one. In a bowl, crack in two large eggs and mix them up so they become super fluffy. To them, Add 125 milliliters of 90% cocoa, 125 milliliters of milk, 125 grams of plain yogurt, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Once all the wet ingredients have been added, mix them well. Now, let's take our dark chocolate and cut it into smaller pieces. Instead of the chocolate, you can also use chocolate chips or chocolate sprinkles, as long as they are at least around 60% cocoa. Next, we just need to combine everything together. Take your wet ingredients and pour them into your dry ones. Mix them well together, but don't overmix. So for this, it's better to just use a whisk instead of a mixer. At the very end, add the chocolate pieces to the muffin batter. Save some to sprinkle on top right before they go into the oven. Preheat your oven to 220 degrees Celsius. Brush your muffin tin with a bit of oil just so that the potential overflows don't stick to it. Place in your muffin cups and fill them to the cup's edge. With this recipe, you will make around 17 wonderful muffins. Before putting them into the oven, sprinkle over the remaining chocolate pieces. Now that the oven is ready, let's bake them. Place the muffin tin in the middle of the oven and bake them for 10 minutes at 220 degrees Celsius on conventional heating. After, turn the oven down to 180 degrees Celsius for additional 15 minutes, but do not open the oven door. Before we take them out completely, you can check with a toothpick if the center is baked. Just stick the toothpick into the middle of the muffin and if it comes out clean, they're done. Transfer them to a wire rack and let them completely cool down. These muffins are the best ones that are completely cold. I make them one day in advance as it allows all of the flavors to mingle. They will stay fresh for about 4 days in a box or up to a week if you keep them in the fridge. With this, let's enjoy our muffins and leave the comment down below the video and let me know what type of muffin is your favorite. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more delicious bites from my kitchen. Until next time, bye bye!